That's what we've got is a competition of the greatest scum to get into positions of power with each other so the very worst get into control. Well, the problem is that, you know, all of the rules and all of the morality is just something they see as being used to control the masses. And they, they never believe that it applies to them. They answer to a higher authority or they think Adam Smith was absolutely right that you can be a total greedy person and somehow you're benefiting the system as a whole. Obviously, looking at our current economy, that was completely false. But they still want to subscribe to that theory, just as they're still clinging to global warming. And it's warming. all lies. They keep telling yes. us that the economy's great. I have a stack right here. Reuters, U.S. growth prospects deemed bleak in new decade. Our GDP plunges. Personal bankruptcy filings rising fast to record level. Wall Street Journal, Economic Policy Journal, Robert Rubin, the main culprit. All hell could break loose because of huge government debt. They want a new excise tax. They want a new value-added tax. They have Glenn Beck calling for it, calling it conservative. Uh, we've got American job satisfaction falls to record low to only 45%. Uh, percent. Uh, we've got uh, editorial hiding health bills behind closed doors, Washington Times, U.S. News and World Report, Democratic leaders plan secret health care reform deliberations. Everything's secret. Everything's criminal. They just do whatever they want. And they're and telling us the economy's wonderful, as everyone I know is losing their job, getting pay cuts, everything's falling apart, and the media is saying, we're going to naked body scan you. What we have right now, the only part of the economy that looks good is the Dow industrial averages, and we're seeing more and more indications that that is being manipulated. The plunge protection team is in there. The U.S. government is buying stocks in order to drive up their value so they can use the Dow as a political banner. See, the economy is good. The Dow is up. If you're not doing well, it's your own fault. But they and popped 28-plus trill. They just admitted $4 trillion more on top of the 23.7 trill. So it comes up, up to right at 28 trill. They've pumped 28 trill of our money into their own investments. That's absolutely true. And the AIG is, uh, rather, Goldman Sachs is keeping the bonuses. Obama promised he was going to get those back. Record profits. We get their internal documents, how they engineered the whole thing. McClatchy Newspapers admits it. I mean, this is hell on earth. They made a huge fortune helping to destroy the American economy. And, uh, you know, what is the goal here of the government? Are they trying to crash the U.S. Yes, look economy? at the U.N. saying they want to deindustrialize, paying to move steel mills and power plants out of the U.S. to India. And we're left out without any manufacturing. We're what left we with SWAT teams running around urinating on us. What are we supposed to do to pay our bills? That's the part that really makes it look... Like the government wanted the economy to They want a to rebellion. Crash. They want a rebellion. They want violence. They're going to get it. They're going to get it. I don't like violence, but it does seem like we're headed in that direction. It's a master plan, Kurt. I'm telling you, man, I can't. Somebody just popped in my ear. What's that? I was just thinking about sending a story to Kurt Nemo. That's why I called him Kurt. Yeah, I know. He's Mike Rivero. <laughs> Well, I'm, th I'm, I'm here telling my few writers I've got post this, post that. Whenever you're talking, I'm hitting the button saying, post this, give me that. I mean, the problem is we've got so much evidence, Mike. Yes. What we uh, need is anger in the people, and I'm, I'm still amazed that we're not getting it. I, I just don't even know what to do anymore, Mike. I, I just <laughs> – uh, let's talk to uh, who's up next here. Mark in California, you're on the air with Mike Rivero. Go ahead. Alex. Hey, buddy. Hey, man. Thanks so much for all you're doing. Um, I was thinking of what to say, you know, as I heard uh, the few moments before I came on the air. But seriously, this is all so far gone. Uh, I just I can't even um, I, I can't even react to any of these things anymore. Well, they the hope we standards. just get that far gone and just kind of give up. No, we have to stand up and go. This is the moment when they really come out in the open. We got to go. You're criminal degenerates. You're criminals. You're criminals. You're just chant it. You are criminals. You are illegitimate. You are tyrannous. You are tyrannical. We do not recognize you. You are criminals. You are staging the terror attacks. You engineered the economic collapse. You threatened martial law if the banks weren't given total power. You are criminals. You are. Cr criminals you are criminals you are criminals until everybody starts chanting you are criminals uh, sorry go ahead All my classes here at the university so uh, i just read an article calling this last decade the, uh, the lost decade and I, I completely disagree with that i think the next one coming uh, the one we just entered is going to be the lost decade for sure and uh, we're starting to see all the signs of the uh, the mobilization towards this world government just have you you've been uh covering i don't it's all coming together right now and it seems like world government is here. out in the open 
And I'll be at the park with my kids and some yuppie will walk over and start laughing at me saying, you're a kook. These fools have no idea what's happening to them. They, Mike Rivera, what do you call this sick psychology where people making $100,000 a year think they're part of the elite and think if they just psychologically buddy up to the tyranny and make a joke out of it that it's somehow funny and cute? Well, I call it the good German syndrome, and, you know, because there were people in Germany who all wanted to be cozy and buddy-buddy with Hitler. That didn't work out. Stalin used to call people like that useful idiots. Every society has them. They're in denial about what's going on. They're like abused children, where they think, if I just go along with the abuse, maybe it won't get any worse. And, of course, history shows that, yeah, when you go along with being abused, it is going to get worse, because abusers don't know how to We need a headline themselves. at Infowars.com and an article explaining that we have the Stockholm Syndrome, and you know what that is, Mike. Absolutely. And, well, it's abused child syndrome, where the abused children will work to protect the abusing parent and to defend them and to justify them. And that's exactly where we are with a huge segment of the American population. And I think the government planners are relying on that. And they're figuring that if they start to abuse us more and more and more, that people will just say, oh, please, you know, I'm being a good American. Don't abuse me anymore. I won't say anything. I won't complain. And it is. It's a classic abused child pattern. Well, it's like kids I would see getting beat up when they got off the school bus putting up with it, and the bullies came like flies. Not me. Bullies ran when they saw me because I'm like, hey, you may be bigger than me. You want some? I mean, I don't understand the, the love of cowardice, the love of rolling over. I don't have courage. I am just not a slave. I'm a real human. I'm ready to stand up. We have to stop rolling over to this tyranny, stop capitulating to it, ladies and gentlemen. And I do see people waking up. I do see people getting angry. And Chertoff and others already made the deals to some numbers that are as high as $9 billion for these scanners and other systems. I mean, this is just outrageous to see them out in the open doing this, making money, enslaving us, Mike. It is. It's just absolutely, it's very depressing to see. But you were talking in the last segment about standing up and, and, and saying, I'm not going to be a slave anymore. And I keep thinking about what is the institution that we have in our society that is always teaching us to be on our knees and to turn the other cheek and not fight back. And it seems to be organized religion, which may explain why they get all these tax breaks from the government. And it almost seems sometimes like religion or organized commercial religion, is definitely on the side of the government where they're working to try and talk us out of fighting back against Oh, yeah, clergy oppressors. response teams, uh, faith-based initiative in the last uh, nine years has completely taken over all the denominations, and we got the secret documents. Now mainstream media admits it. The preachers are training their flocks, quote, for martial law. Yeah, uh, render unto Caesar and, and, and all the rest of that. So we need to recognize that those churches, they're part of the problem. They are not working for the freedom of the people. I think one of the popes once said there never should have been a Bill of Rights because God does not grant to man rights of freedom of speech and freedom of, uh, of movement. Unbelievable. And, and, and now the Pope's calling for a global tax for the environment. Uh, it's just discuss world governments being openly called for. I mean, this is just outrageous. It really, really is. The only good news is that the the uh, failure of the when pigs fly flu to become the, the scourge that it was promised, the failure of the human-caused global warming agenda, those were two of the three pillars on which the foundation for global government was being built. So they're in serious trouble right now because the credibility of global government is very damaged. People are not seeing it as a blessing and a benefit. They're seeing it as the enemy of their own personal freedom. And so I think people are starting to dig their heels in but they need to get angry they need to find out whatever it is that's in their diet or their lifestyle or whatever that is persuading them not to be angry they need to understand that anger is a defense mechanism it is a survival mechanism and they need to start getting into that because anger is going to give you the energy and enthusiasm to do what needs to be done to secure your freedoms government never makes you free you have to take your freedom from the government well, expanding on that, you're right. They've tried the fake global warming. They're still moving forward on that, but they're damaged. They tried uh, the fake swine flu. That blew up in their face, a big disaster for them. All this news in Europe of indictments and corruption at the U.N., fear-mongering it with companies to make money. Uh, and so they're falling back on terror, but it's come out that Ridge, the last Homeland Security head, admitted that it was all fake and done for political purposes. We have the facts. We have the proof. 
And for all of you yuppies and people that haven't spoken up or people that are awake who haven't gotten involved, you better do it quick, folks. This is serious tyranny we're dealing with. This isn't your mama's tyranny. This is a high-tech, really vicious tyranny. And don't say you weren't warned. You know, in the end, we're going to win, Mike, even though things are going to get a lot worse, because you and I and countless others have planted the seeds of truth. And people ignored us, but they now remember what we said, and now it's triggering. They're waking up. And that's why I think we have a good chance of turning this around. If we offer people the alternative of a free society, an open society, and, and, and really document what we could be instead of what we're becoming. Absolutely true. And the, the main thing is people are recognizing the government is lying. They're looking for somebody to tell them what's really going on. And, of course, they're coming to our radio shows and our websites. Mike, you're awesome. Thank you so much for joining us. Keep up the great work, and it's good to be working with you and exposing and developing this boycott of the airlines and others to stop these naked body scanners like we stopped the global warming fraud and the flu fraud.